This is our second video now on how to solve different types of uh, probability problems. Um, if you just found us on YouTube, if you can go to the website at digital-university.org and then go to the combinatorics and probability section, you see we have a whole series of videos there. Um, we have like 10 of them where we solve different types of permutation problems. And then we have another 10 where we solve combination problems. And then the last group of videos deal with some of the mathematical background of generating functions and then how we use generating functions to solve some of the more complicated uh, combination of permutation problems. Now, for the probability videos, we're going to be drawing upon our knowledge from these earlier videos here on permutations and combinations. So if you're watching one of our probability videos and we're referring to an earlier video and you're not familiar with that material, please go to the website and then you can access those earlier videos there. Okay, for this one, it's going to be another probability problem that we can solve using combinations. And the problem just simply states we have a deck of cards, and we're going to draw three cards out of the deck. When we do that, what is the probability that all three cards that we draw from the deck will be spades? So here, it's similar to the last one, where again, we can solve this using combinations. We want to consider, first of all, if we have a deck of 52 cards, and from that deck, we're going to remove three of them. How many ways can we do that? And we know from our earlier videos on combination that that is just simply this. Here we have 52 cards. We're going to randomly select three of them. The order in which we select the three to rem that we want to remove the order in which we select them is totally irrelevant. So this expression tells us, which is a binomial coefficient, this tells us the number of ways that we can draw three cards from a deck of 52. But we'll say the total number of ways to draw three cards from a deck of 52. OK, now our problem was if we select three cards out of the 52, what is the probability that all three of them will be spades? Well, we know that in a standard deck of cards, it contains 13 spades. And we want to remove three of them. So how many ways can we do that? And again, it's just this expression again that is another combination problem like the one, like the type of combination problems that we had worked in the earlier videos where here we have 13 spades randomly select three of them the order in which we select them is totally irrelevant so this expression tells us the number of ways to draw three spades from a standard deck.
Okay, now the probability of this happening is equal to the total number of ways that it can happen, the total number of ways that we can remove three spades, that's this, divided by the total number of ways that we can remove three cards from a deck of 52. So the probability of that happening would be this, and this is this binomial coefficient, of course. So it would be equal to this binomial coefficient divided by this binomial coefficient. And that is equal then to the probability of removing three spades. And again, it's like that because this is the total number of ways that we can remove three spades from a deck of cards. This is the total number of possibilities to remove three cards from a standard deck. So we figure out this ratio, and that tells us the probability of removing three spades from a standard deck. So let's just make some room, and let's see if we can quickly do this calculation. So we have this expression, this binomial coefficient, and it's divided by this binomial coefficient. 13 over 3 divided by the binomial coefficient 52 over 3. Well, let's figure out this first. And remember, this tells us the total number of ways to select three spades from the deck of cards. And that binomial coefficient, remember from the earlier videos now, this is equal to 13 factorial divided by 3 factorial. And then we have 13 minus 3, that's 10 factorial. And let's see, this is equal to 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 factorial. That's 13 factorial, and it's divided by 10 factorial times 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 6. So these cancel. That goes into there two times, so we have 13 times 22. And let's see, we want to get the calculator out. 13 times 22, that is 286. So, 286 is the total number of ways that we could remove three spades from a deck of cards. Now, this is the total number of ways that we can remove three cards, three cards from a standard deck. The numerator is equal to 286. That's the total number of ways that we can remove three spades from the deck. Now, let's work with this expression. Here we have the binomial coefficient, 52 over 3. And that would be 52 factorial divided by 3 factorial. And 52 minus 3 is 49, so that is 49 factorial. So let's see, this is equal to 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 factorial. That's what 52 factorial equals. And this is divided by 
49 factorial and this is 3 times 2 times 1. So these cancel here. We have that and let's see what else do we have. Um, we have 51 divided by 3 that's equal to 17. And we have 52 times 50 divided by 2. This will be 25. So this binomial coefficient equals 52 times 17 times 25. And this is the total number of ways Try to keep things in focus now. This is the total number of ways that we can remove three cards from a standard deck. This is the total number of ways that we can remove three spades from a standard deck of cards. So we divide this by this and that will give us the probability of removing three spades from a standard deck. So we have 13 times 22 divided by 52 times 17 times 25. And that right there then is the probability of removing three spades. So let's see what we have. We have 13 times 22 um, 13 goes into 52 four times, so that's 4. And then here we have 22 over 4, that could be 11 over 2. So this is equal to 11 divided by 2 times 17, that's 34, times 25. And let's see if we put that on the calculator. I think that's 850. So our probability is 11 divided by 850. So that right there tells us the probability when you have a standard deck of cards, we remove three of them what is the probability that all three of those will be spades? It's 11 over 150, or excuse me, over 850. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope it didn't make it too long. We kind of want to just go through step by step and again have another demonstration of how we can use combinations to solve certain types of uh, probabilities. In the um, next video, we're going to consider just a simple compound event and how we handle that kind of probability. So come back and join us for that video and we'll see if we can solve some more problems.